guys welcome to today's video and today is Sunday and we are headed someplace we have not been in two years someplace we are not used to going like it's, it's been a while huh Sam long time. long time where are we going we're going we're doing this for Sam I mean for us too but we're going someplace special for Sam today where are we going we're going to Toronto Toronto if you guys don't know Sam was born there it's, Toronto is like the big city closest to us we are a few hours away from Toronto we are in just like a little teeny tiny town. We're in like a big area where there's a collection of little tiny small towns. And then the further you go towards the big town, the bigger the cities get. So we're small town people, but Sam came from a big town and we're headed there today. We're headed there to see his family. We haven't seen them in a long time. We saw his dad recently, um, last year, I think. And that's it though. We're gonna go and spend some time with family. We're gonna take you guys with us and show you Sam's roots. Some of you guys who have been following us for a long time have seen Sam's roots, but let's do it. All right, so we're here at Sam's grandfather's So we're at Sam's grandfather's house and they're looking at this tree and Gabby's like, I used to climb trees. Our old, old house. Uh, we had a really good climbing tree and her brother said like, hey Gabby, I'll teach you it. And she only remembers that one in the front. Yeah, that's the one. So Sam's grandfather is a little Italian guy, if you guys don't know. <gasps> Look, all the tomatoes. It's like a tomato tree. Look at in there. Wow, I could eat here for days. Like that's huge. I wonder how it got in that bush. Like it's all the way up there. Well, he grew it there. Well, he probably grew it there from sure. the ground. Next year, so I learned, I mean, I've learned gardening from a lot of people throughout my life. plant that many tomato plants. Not next year, no more tomato plants? I want to take you guys. Not as much. Want to take, only like one or two. I love the tomatoes. The tomatoes were the best. I have sauce for days now. But yeah, like that's cool. You walk into this little bush here and he's got tomatoes look at those babies so this is his grandfather's backyard and it's super cool i know this is the garden of my of my life you got so you walk through here there's all this wood there's all this wood and he has this little wood stove here and this is where he cooks his chicken he, he gets chicken and he cooks it on the fire and spends like hours every day cooking his chicken each day you might think this is just like a little walk, normal walkway, but if you look up, all of his zucchini is growing. Like, look at that. I do not need any zucchini though, because like I would love to have this. Wouldn't you love to have this? Or there's spiders or something. Oh, look at that. So the reason he lets some grow really big is because he gets seeds for the next year. He harvests the seeds. That's huge. Thunder and lightning. That's thunder. Oh, that's just thunder. But yeah, look at that. Whoa. Like, that's cool though. Like, that ah. looks like a finger. It looks like a finger. Looks like a, I don't even know what that looks like. It's long. So then you walk through here and there's more stuff growing at the top and then he has this little garden and it's a tomato plant sam's already eaten all the tomatoes so then he has like this area Whew. and some tomato plants there remember this is the end of our season so he doesn't have like as much stuff but these are so he most wow so he leaves these, so they're big, so that he can get seeds. That's a giant tomato. And then he has more growing over here. And then he eats a lot of lettuce. He calls it salad. But I love his squash setup. Let's see if I can get this garden in its full beauty, you guys. So this is it. This is his garden. So Gabby and Sophie and I are standing underneath this thing because it suddenly started pouring rain. Gabby's like, give me your set give me your sweater real quick. I'm like, no, not happening. Did you guys bring a jacket? No. <laughs> Suckers. But actually my hair is getting wet. I need to stand underneath that big leaf. There we go. Better. Alright. 
Because we are trapped. We are trapped in the Garden of Eden. How are you supposed to grab the wood? He's little. You can grab all that wood. What do you mean? He just puts his hand through there. He's got wood everywhere. Being Sam with like a zucchini head. <laughs> I don't know. That's his grandpa. The girls are like, he, Sam's grandfather still talks totally in Italian, but he tries to like say a few things in English. So anyway. Mom can only understand like one word and still laughs like she understands. I was laughing because I do understand. Like, right. so he was, Sam was saying that some guy built a big, huge, massive house just like a couple doors down, a couple doors down. Yeah, in the corner lot. In the corner lot, a big, huge house. And the guy is a doctor and his wife is a lawyer and, and they saw each other and, and, I, the, the guy told Sam, you, Sam's grandfather, the guy told Sam's grandfather that his, he's a doctor and his wife is a lawyer and that Sam's grandfather is a doctor for the garden because he tried to grow stuff in his yard and could not do it. And then he said to Sam's grandfather, he brought him wine and beer one time and he said like, why do you bring me this stuff? And he said, because you're a good man and Sam's grandfather said like you don't even know me how do you think I'm a good man and he said well I you're my neighbor I saw you on the computer <laughs> and it's just funny because Sam's grandfather is like 85 how old 90. oh 90 oh no 93 you're probably 94 95. probably now 95, yeah 94 95 and he's little tawny Italian guy and he takes care of all this himself and so he's not used to like stalking people on the computer and like looking people up and stuff so he doesn't, even know what a he doesn't even know what a computer is like we showed him our cell phones one time and he was like whoa but yeah just so super funny that he was like explaining to us that the neighbor knows he's a good guy because he saw him on the computer so my favorite thing about coming here is that usually these raspberries are like huge but we missed the season so he's cut them all back i guess but usually his raspberries are the best. Mmm, I'm still thinking I'd eat them all. Way better than in the store. I know. When we move, we're gonna do like a nice garden. That's his garden. Mm. We're home. I didn't video at Sam's parents' house. We just had lunch with them. It was so good. Her his mom can cook. But anyway. Every time we go there, his parents give us stuff. They're always like, Mom, hey, I have it, all this junk. It. I have all this junk in my garage and I need to get rid of it. And so we always go and look in the garage and we bring home stuff. So I'm going to show you the stuff that we brought home. Number one is a new wheelbarrow. I'm so excited about that. Sophie has lost her puppy. Lost her dog. And we can't just call her. Come on, puppy. <laughs> go get Daisy. Go get her. Go get Daisy. Go get her. Get Daisy. Ruby's, Molly's like, I will get her! She's right here! She's under the ground! Help, Daisy, I'm coming! <laughs> no! Not Daisy there! Daisy the dog! The deaf dog! Go get Daisy! Go get your friend! Go get Daisy! Get her! Anyway, so we got that, and it's super cool. I'm excited to have it, actually, because we only have one wheelbarrow. It's that thing. And we have, like, my muck bucket. This, I think, is going to kind of take the place of my muck bucket. And it's bigger. And I think it's bigger. Do you think it's bigger? Oh, well, anyways, I like it. She was inside. That's the thing that Daisy does. Every time she goes disappearing, it's because she's starving. It's because we were gone all day, so she didn't get to eat her lunch or her supper. And she, she can't handle that. Daisy is all about the food. We also got a couple other things from Sam's dad, Sophie and I did. We got a bunch of stuff, but only a few things are probably Maybe interesting to you. Balls. Yeah, the girls got soccer balls. All that shopping we went to to find a soccer ball for, for Gabby and their grand. Yeah, he, they gave them girls money and they gave them soccer balls. But anyways, we got this. I'll show you. So they have this, which we want to fill our little pool filled with balls for the horses to like, for our, you know, the thing that we're making. Uh oh, they're not for you. Oh, oh, she just, I did it. She took it out of my hand. Uh oh, that one's hers now. <laughs> She's enjoying it. Molly. Oh my gosh. Look at her go. She loves it. Molly. Okay, Molly. Can't fight. 
There you go. <laughs> okay, well, so clearly, these are for the dogs. <laughs> okay, we have this thing. And they gave us this thing, which we have had one of these before. But this one we're gonna, because I want to teach the dogs agility too. Like this winter, Wait. we're gonna do oh, some oh, fun stuff with the horses, with our girls, and with our dogs. So that is the plan. I mean, horses could jump over top of that. So, you want a ball too? Is that what you're looking for? Here, you get yellow. There you go. Take it. Take it. Look at it, Willow. Look at it. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Bring it over here because I'm being. Can you hear me? All right. So the dogs took the balls, and Sophie took the tube. <laughs> Ooh, but essentially that's going to be for our dogs. And I looked on Facebook Marketplace for more balls. All right, let's dump this out first because it's dirty. All right, so basically we want to fill this with little plastic balls for the dogs to just help themselves and destroy. Just joking. And we want to make it like filled with this for the horses. They scammed us. They scammed us. They gave it to us for free. Oh, look. Yeah. Penny's like, I will look. What, what are you? <laughs> and Daisy's like, I will take all the balls. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. They're balls, Pen. Anyways, I'm going to buy more of them. I already see one's wrecked because of them. We need like 500. Yeah, we need like 1,000. All right, time to get ponies to go through it. A thousand of those. So that's what we got, and we're gonna take this out, and we're gonna use it for. We're gonna have to stake Can it I down. Jump over it? Uh, maybe later. <sighs> Why not? But later? this is what we're gonna use for the dogs for agility. <laughs> Apparently, Penny thinks this is hers. Penny, come on now. You put it upside down. It's okay. All right, so we're going to see if we can get... Oh, she thinks it's, she it's, thinks a, it's a ball. Here, come here. She's biting it. Okay, here, give me, throw the ball in there. Molly. Wait, the mash has to be on there. Okay. okay. Molly. Look. No. Oh. <laughs> go, go. Get it, get it, Molly. Get it. busy for fun. Penny really <laughs> was like, if you give me a treat, I'll go in that tunnel. Oh, Molly just went in. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 